guys? It's Chris at Every Chris, and welcome back to my channel, the number one place for Tesla tech and everyday life. So I made two Tesla accessories videos on the general stuff, so make sure you guys check those out. However, I've been getting so many comments on people on how to mount a cell phone. So in today's video, I thought I'd talk about four of the most popular cell phone mounts for the Tesla Model 3 or Model Y and review it and let you guys know what I think. Let's first start with one of my favorite cell phone mounts, Joe Wow. Joe Wow has a ton of different cell phone mounts that cater to people with cases, iPhone MagSafe, as well as Android phones. Their wireless charging phone mount works with any phone with wireless charging abilities and sticks onto the back of your screen and is large enough to work with phones with wallet cases. They also have the exact same one that's cheaper without charging capabilities. And they also have an invisible fold away mount that sticks to the back of your screen but can also hold any cell phone and the beauty of this is it can easily fold away and hide away when you don't need it. The only con to that one is it doesn't offer any charging capabilities. Moving on to their newest one, but only for iPhone MagSafe users, their invisible fold away car mount, both with MagSafe charging and the cheaper version without the charging. This has been my go-to cell phone mount for many reasons. First, I don't need the mount every day. So when I don't need it, I just hide it away so the Tesla interior still looks clean and minimalistic. Second, it holds my phone strongly with the magnets so it doesn't jiggle or fall off with zero vibrations, I might add. And again, if you know me, vibrations are my pet peeve. And it charges the phone with a super long USB cable that can be neatly routed to the back USB-C port. And lastly, I have the ability to rotate the screen horizontally or vertically if I wanted to without blocking anything on the Tesla screen. And it always helps that the mount looks minimalistic, clean, and beautiful. Let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Lark. If you don't know who Lark is, Lark is a self-cleaning bottle that not only cleans itself every two hours, but sanitizes the water in your bottle using their Pure Viz system, which is essentially a UV light that kills harmful bacteria. It's a flask on steroids because it cleans the interior of the bottle every two hours to prevent any type of mold or mildew buildup making cleaning less often. Battery life on the UV cap is amazing and can also last one to two months with normal use. It comes in two sizes, 17 or 25 ounce, and in a ton of cool looking clean colors. I went with the 25 ounce because I'm a big guy and I love my water, but it's way nicer looking than my current gallon jug. Honestly, this thing looks good as my water tastes. The Lark bottle is of course double insulated, so it keeps water cold for 24 hours or hot for 12 hours. It starts at $95, but it comes with a solid one year warranty, which is legit. And if these bottles aren't your jam, they have other bottles too, like their Lark bottle filtered. That's a bottle with a filtered straw. Or you should try their Lark bottle movement, which is way lighter than the Lark bottle because it's not double insulated. So although it won't keep your drinks cold or hot for long periods, it does clean the water and the bottle. Now, having said that, you can also filter the water at home with their Pure Viz filter that not only filters the water, but also has an integrated UV light that cleans the water and pitcher. And again, I'll make sure to link everything in the description below. Now, back to it. Next, let's talk about a super popular cell phone mount out there that's been around for a while, TMI. These are one of the first cell phone mounts for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Because they were able to develop a mount that clips onto the dashboard, TMI calls it their gravity phone mount. Depending on your dashboard generation, if you have the piece that clips in like I do, you have the Gen 1 dashboard. Or the newer ones, which is just one single piece, is the Gen 2 dashboards. The TMI gravity mount mounts exactly to the side of the air vent. And not only that, it still offers a small vent to allow air to pass through. And the phone easily slips on with this cool looking mechanism that keeps the phone in place in this Y looking shape. Overall, it looks amazing when not in use and when the phone is on the mount, I didn't see or notice any type of excessive vibration. Now, the only downside to this phone mount is that it's such a low profile phone mount. If you have a wallet case, it definitely will not fit. So the best thing to do is have just the case or a removable wallet case. Another issue is that the cell phone mount doesn't offer any sort of wireless charging 
And if you have Waze or Google Maps open, you know how much battery those puppies can drain. Although you can still easily route a charging cable to the cell phone, because it's on the far left, it's definitely gonna look pretty nasty when it is charging. But overall, the quality is amazing. It tilts at any angle, and it even fits my giant iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, let's talk about a new and upcoming charger that has been doing cell phone protectors as well as wallet cases for a while now, Magback. I got into Magback a few months ago when I was looking for a case and wallet case for my iPhone. And I really liked the design and features and how strong their magnets were. They reached out to me and told me they have a new MagSafe charger coming out specifically for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y screens. It's called the MagBack Wireless Charger and it easily attaches to the left part of your Tesla screen with double-sided tape. As far as the power goes, it routes easily via USB-C to the center console or you can use their USB-C cigarette outlet. This is definitely a nice looking cell phone mount and it's sturdy and looks like it blends in directly with the Tesla screen, which is awesome. It looks good, the material is matte, so it grips the cell phone well, and the magnet is super strong. Especially if you combine it with one of their own MagVac cases, but it still works just as well with the Apple MagSafe case. You can also mount the phone horizontally or vertically, although horizontally does block the Tesla screen. It also has a nice green LED light letting you know the cell phone is connected and charging. Now one issue I thought I would have with this cell phone mount is that it is in a fixed position. However, they must have thought of this and they angled the cell phone mount so it's perfect when you're driving and you can see it at any angle so I have no issues seeing the screen. Overall, it charges the phone quickly and it looks good when not in use. I do wish the cable was longer so I could route the USB-C cable all the way to the back so it just provides a more cleaner look. However, I think it's still a great MagSafe charging option for iPhone users. And lastly, we can't forget my OG cell phone mount which I still love to this day my top fit cell phone mount. I love this thing because it's so easy to take on or off. It holds any phone, even with the case easily. It can easily move in any angle and even has a pouch in the back to hold any extra stuff. The only downfall to this cell phone mount, however, is the V11 software update. The cell phone mount blocks the upper left side of the screen so you can't see your gear stocks. Other than that, it's still a super solid cell phone mount and you can still easily charge your phone with the cable when needed. So there you have it, the pros and cons to all these cell phone cases. However, if you do have an iPhone with a MagSafe wallet, by the way, I do reviews other than Tesla stuff, so make sure to check out my MagSafe wallet review. For me, I feel that the Joel MagSafe charging cell phone holder and the MagSafe charger is the one for me as it offers wireless charging capabilities. Anyways, thanks for watching my video, guys. I'll make sure to link everything in the description below. Please use those links to help purchase an item as it does help the channel. Let me know if there are any cell phone mounts out there that you guys like in the comments, and I'll see you guys next week.